Hi, I'm Craig Frazier here with Iwata Airbrushes and Artool Products. I'm here to show you three brand new products by Iwata. Very cool stuff here. What we have here, first of all, is the universal spray out pot. It's a universal cleaning system for Iwata, and I'll tell you why it's universal. You can fit just about any of the brushes. The trigger model goes in there nicely. You've got the gravity feed, fits in there really nice. And yes, now you can even put the bottle feed in there. Very cool product, we'll talk more about that in a second. Secondly, we have the universal airbrush holder. It's called universal for the exact same reason. You can put the trigger gun in there, you can put the gravity gun, and you can put the bottle feed in there. Same design, same rubberized fitting for security. Put the hose on there, it's not gonna come out. Excellent product. Last but not least, we have the brand new filter regulator. Now, this is a standard Iwata regulator with the built-in filter on the bottom. Now, each of these products individually are very cool. Together, they make a really nice system called the Iwata workstation. Now, when you're buying these products, keep an eye out for the workstation logo right there. Any product that's part of the station is listed on here. Now, when I say it's a workstation or a system, I'll show what I mean by it. You put this thing all together, and you've got the Iwata workstation. Very, very nice design here. Very sturdily made. This uh, regulator bolts right onto the clamp, the clamp for the universal airbrush holder. Very deep clamp, fits just about every table. And of course, you've got the universal spray out pot. Now, it holds an airbrush in here, but guess what? Now you've got three airbrushes you can hold in here with the universal airbrush holder. Very sturdy, very small and compact, very, very cool. So we've talked about the three separate new products and we've talked about the new workstation. What I'm gonna do now is break down each of them, show you the assembly and some of the details of each of the products. Let's break down the first product. What I got here is the universal spray out pot. Comes in a nice yellowy water box and don't forget it's got the workstation logo on it. Now when unpacking it, you're going to find out very easily comes out of here and there's nothing else left in that box. Don't worry, all of your goodies are inside the spray out pot. You've got your instructions. We've got the universal airbrush guide right there. We've got the spray out pot holder and we've got the filters and your nozzle holder. Now the nozzle holder is kind of cool, it comes with a spare, just in case you break it or lose it, you got a spare one right here. Fits inside this collar nicely, and you just press fit it right inside there, snaps right in. Now the key to making this truly universal is the universal guide right here. Fits in there really nicely, it's rubberized so it has good grip, and you put your trigger gun in there, no problem. You can put your gravity feed gun in there, no problem, and of course, last but not least, your bottle feed gun. No problem whatsoever, even with the hose, that's in there, it's not going anywhere. Now another cool thing that's brand new that I really dig is the, um, the filter on the top. Now besides it being larger than the previous model, the filter material inside actually has less resistance, so it have less back pressure, less possibility of pressurizing your pot when it gets dirty. But a really cool thing is it's got a little tray in the top and you can put little tips or your air caps in there to keep them from getting lost. You know, screw this on real nicely here. Now you may have noticed, you may think, oh, it's not glass like it used to be. Yep, it still is glass. If you look, underneath it is the same very durable glass container as before with this cool rubber sleeve that prevents it from sliding. That's a really nice bonus. Plus it comes off easily for cleaning and it's got a slot in the back so you can see when your paint level starts getting high. Now don't forget to put on the spray out pot holder. This is very necessary for the stability of the, of the system itself. When the hose is on and the airbrush is there, without this, it can turn over. So that's it. That is your universal spray out pot by Iwata. For our second breakdown, we're gonna go for the universal airbrush holder. Now, it doesn't come all pretty and assembled like this. It comes in a box. And I see water box, and of course, look for that workstation logo on the side, so you know you got the right product. First thing we pull out is the bracket itself. Now, the cool thing about this is it is deep, so it fits just about any table, and that sucker is solid. That's metal, not plastic. We also have in here all the goodies, which include the actual, and of course, the instructions. You know, you got those in there. We've got the airbrush holders themselves. We've got the spray-out pot mounting bracket. 
We've got the bolt, a lock washer, and a little mystery screw. We'll talk about the mystery screw in a second. Now, the first thing you want to do is realize that it's not difficult to assemble this, but it is sequential. You got to make sure you have it in the right order. Reason being is there is a right and a left side to these. Um, the right and left side basically determines these little loops here. You have those on the outside of their mount. It, it just fits better. The airbrushes fit better. That's the way it goes together. So we take our mounting bolt. We take our lock washer put those together. Whoops, almost lost that. There we go. Yeah, make sure you assemble this on a deep carpet so you can lose your parts. That's what I do. There we go, we got those two together nicely. And don't forget the spray out pot mounting bracket. Get that on there and it's got a threaded bung on the end of this bracket. And all you need to do is just feed that in And there you go, it's on there. You don't need to get it really, really super tight. Even when it's tight, it's still flexible enough to move around. You just wanna make sure it's not sloppy or loose at all. Now, if you're wondering what that mystery screw is, I'll show you right now. Mystery screw goes right here on the back. I'm gonna show you what that's for later. That's actually another product that attaches on here. Now, in looking at this, we already talked about the improvements over the previous uh, uh, airbrush uh, uh, mounts that Iwata has. This one's got the deeper, deeper um, cup here to hold on the tables, but the biggest difference is the actual uh, wires that hold the airbrushes. They're quite a bit different in design, and the hold, because it's universal, as we mentioned earlier, it holds all of the airbrushes, every single model, all the way down to the bottle feds. What's also cool is these are very flexible. You can bend them. Let's say you like your airbrush to ride higher. You want to ride a little bit lower. You may have different types of brushes that are difficult to fit in here. All the brushes, trust me, I put a lot of different brushes in here. They all fit and you can move them all around. Now, if you're wondering what the spray out pot mounting bracket is for, I'll show you right now. Right here, we have the handle that's on the bottom of the spray out pot. Remove that handle. That's just for when it sits on its own. And then you take it and slide it right on to that bracket. And there you have the workstation. You got the rubberized mount right there. This thing clamps onto the table and you also have three airbrush holders now instead of just the two. And basically you've got three quarters of your workstation. Okay, for our third and final breakdown, we've got the filter regulating system. This is the filter regulator right here, standard filter regulator from Iwata. It's got your regulator on the top with the filter on the bottom, two quarter inch fittings on each side. Now it comes with a couple of other goodies. You've got this little bung fitting right here, which allows you to go from your compressor right to the regulator. You've also got this adapter here, which allows you to step down from the quarter inch down to an airbrush hose fitting in case you don't have an airbrush hose that fits onto the standard quarter inch. Now you look behind this regulator gauge and you'll see a little arrow. Very important, the arrow points in the direction that the air actually is flowing. Not, it's not pointing at the compressor, it's pointing in the air, the direction it's flowing towards the airbrush. You also get in the little goodie bag, some PTFE tape, which is used on the threads to make sure you seal it and you have a nice airtight fit. Now. Uh, remember before I showed you the little mystery screw on the back of the universal airbrush holder? This is what the mystery screw is used for. Here it is right here. It's holding up this bracket. Now I'm not going to take the bracket off. You can do that yourself. It's a screwdriver thing. But you want to screw that on there. And it's got a little nib inside that actually makes sure you line it up right. I can fit this right inside that bracket. And I've got the bracket nut. And you just slowly start spinning it on there until it threads. Tighten it by hand. So it's firm, it's on there, nice and sturdy. And then what you have there is the completed Iwata workstation. Now I showed you the three products already. I showed you the universal spray out pot, the universal airbrush stand right here, which combined together gives you the three airbrush mounts. And we have the filter regulator system. All together, this is the completed system. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Craig Fraser from Iwata Airbrushes and Art Tool Products, and I will see you next time.